So a common discussion I have with people is GCC versus Clink. Um, but the way they kind of compare compilers typically ends up being with a couple of criteria. Uh, performance, uh, warning or error messages, and that's kind of where the conversation stops. Uh, but what I do in my day job is actually look at debuggers, and I look at them a lot. Um, and I look at their output, both whether it's on Linux systems and dwarf information, uh, and the debuggability of binaries that produce. And so about a year ago, I asked myself, I wonder what the debuggability difference is between binaries produced by GCC versus CLANK. And it's actually, it was pretty interesting a year ago. But before we go into that, you know, what are some other ways we can actually compare compilers? You know, there's correctness, which is obviously very, very important, but uh, not a lot of us do. We kind of just trust our compilers, uh, whether they're compliant and uh, whether or not they give us good compilation time. So what is debuggability? I don't really have a good definition, so I pulled this off of Wikipedia. Uh, the extent to which something can be debugged. Um, <laughs> not sure. So the way I think of it is if I've got this thing running in production and I have a core dump or uh, something of that nature, if I pull it up into GDB, um, how well can I debug it? And the problem is, is that compilers, especially with heavy optimization, uh, can really screw us over if we're trying to actually view this information. So a symbolic debugger, which GDB is, will map the state of registers and memory back to a backtrace of variables and type information. Um, it does that with a very convoluted process. If anyone's ever looked at the DOR specification, it's like 200 pages long. Um, and there's, that, I don't, there's tons of information as to why that is. But it's Turing complete. It's really complicated. It can really, really be a pain in the ass, uh, if you're, especially if you work with debuggers. Um, so this is what I settled on. It's not really good, it's not really scientific, but basically I said in a debugger, if I walk the backtrace, um, how many local variables can I actually resolve based on the compiler that I used? So did this, whoa, nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over five minutes. So basically, C Lang sucked it. So, uh, <laughs> um, this was about a year ago. I looked at the dwarf information. It was either outputting trash or it wasn't outputting anything at all. Um, and this is for different optimization levels, O2, O0, so even non-optimized builds. Looked at this uh, with a toy C++ application today, comparing a more recent version, so CLang 3.9. The situation's a little bit better, but still not up to par with GCC. So for all you guys that really love CLang and love to use it, that's great. I think it gives me great information and great warning messages when I'm actually doing development. But make sure you consider the kind of debug information you get before you push it out into prod. Cool.